Galera, eu não sei vocês, mas eu tô num hype descontrolado por esse game da Moon Studios, cara. No Rest for the Wicked foi testado por várias pessoas, né? E a galera começou a soltar os previews, as impressões e tal. E pra nós, né? Que não fomos convidados, porque a galera de fora, da gringa só, aparece. Nos resta reagir, né? E dessa vez eu quero reagir com vocês, né? A um gameplay de 19 minutos da Game Informer, né? Eles sempre trazem gameplays é, um pouquinho mais extensos e tal. E eu achei muito legal pra gente poder dar uma olhada, ver qual é que é. Até então a gente tem visto gaming com picotes, né, com cortes e tal, e acredito, eu não vi ainda, então eu não sei, não posso afirmar, mas eu acredito que esse conteúdo deles aqui é na íntegra, sem picote nenhum, geralmente eles fazem isso, então vamos ver, né? Pra você que não tá ligado, o No Rest for the Wicked é um novo jogo, né, de RPG isométrico, no estilo Diablo, mas que se parece mais na mecânica de combate com os jogos da From, né, os Souls-like da vida, e que, olha... Eu não vou mentir pra vocês, não. Eu tô muito hypado. Tipo, muito, muito. E se você também, se você tá acompanhando, né, toda a nossa cobertura, enfim... Cara, você tá mais que convidado a assistir comigo aqui esse gameplay. Se você tá chegando aqui e não me conhece, eu sou o Kalil e você está no Gamer Liu Game. Seja bem-vindo, bora lá. Vamos ver o que, que eles estão falando aqui do game. Deixa eu soltar o gameplay aqui. Hello, hello, welcome to New Gameplay Today. I'm one of your hosts, and we are joined by Marcus Stewart today. How are you doing? I'm doing well. That is great to hear. Uh, anything big happening today? Uh, not that I know of. Um, why, yeah, have you seen either. something? I think I saw that Game Informer site, like, revealed their latest cover or something like that. I don't know. Do you know anything about that? Uh, you know, now that you say that, I, I think someone mentioned that the, the writer's name sounds very familiar. Uh, It sounds a lot like mine, because I wrote that thing. <laughs> hey! Hey, and you know what? You were there too. I was, yeah. We are uh, awesome. Para vocês que estão boiando, <laughs> talvez, né? Deixa eu explicar. É, a capa da revista né, Game Informer desse mês, o cover, é do No Rest for the Wicked. Deixa eu até pegar aqui para poder mostrar para vocês. Olha só. Legal, né? Essa é a capa da Game Informer desse mês, e inclusive é uma matéria sobre o No Rest for the Wicked, que esses caras que estão aqui comentando e tal, eles que, que escreveram e tal, então beleza, muito bonito o cover. Vamos lá, vamos ver. Probably the foremost experts on the game we are checking out today, which is No Rest for the Wicked, it is an action RPG from the developers of Ori and the Will of the Wisps and Ori and the Blind Forest, Moon Studios. Um, yes, so our cover is revealed and it is beautiful and we have uh, No Rest for the Wicked on the cover. Marcus wrote the cover story. I handled some video and was there with him checking out the game. Uh, if you're looking for exclusive details, you're going to have to wait till our actual issue is out. But what we're checking out today is a preview we got um, alongside a bunch of other outlets and streamers and stuff. It's basically the beginning louco, of the game, maybe the first 60 or 80 minutes. Aqui ele interagiu aqui com o que parece ser um... Sei lá, mano. Deve ser um checkpoint, alguma coisa assim. E uma, uma coisa que os produtores do jogo comentaram, né? É que eles fizeram todo o cenário pra ser interativo da maior forma, da melhor forma possível. Vocês viram na hora que ele detonou esses negócios aqui do lado? Que lindo que foi, cara. Bacana. Vamos lá. E você teve que jogar um monte de jogo at Moon Studios in Vienna, Austria. I Austria. did not, and I was very jealous, but I finally mm -hmm. got to play this, and I am so stoked because I am really, really enjoying it. And I wanted to highlight this game's intro, one, because it's all I can, and also I think it's a really good setup for uh, everything Man, that is coming in the game, uh, which is to say I'm really enjoying this action RPG. What do you think of it, Marcus? Yeah, I, I've enjoyed é picotado o gameplay, tá? Achei que não era, mas é. É basic premise, for those that don't know. Um, it's an action RPG, uh, kind of inspired by games like Diablo, but also very much influenced by uh, From Software Souls ah series, lá. especially in terms of the combat. É, olha lá, ó. Um, Embora ele tenha essa carinha, né, de Diablo por ser um jogo isométrico, não se engane, mano. 
Esse jogo aqui é o puro suco do Souls, cara. É Souls-like, com lance de estamina e tudo mais, mano. Pelo que a gente viu no vídeo de ontem, né? Quem acompanhou aqui, dá uma olhada. Se você não viu, dá uma olhada aqui também no link que tá no comentário fixado e veja a nossa cobertura. Mas, basicamente, se você e vai ver na hora do combate, que tem estamina e tal, e o combate é cadenciado, mano. Você tem que ficar ligeiro, senão você, você morre rápido e fácil aqui. Da sort of hora. Holy warrior. Uh, in this world that has been overtaken by this uh, this blight called the pestilence that has turned people into these monsters and there's uh, nice stamina, Leo. also like political intrigue at oh, play with like the death of a king and the succession of his son who seems like maybe not a great person trying to deal with this blight uh, and it's unique That's for sad. Moon Studios because again they're known for the the Ori games uh, so for them to tackle something like a lot more You know, I was like dark and like action oriented, even though the, the or games do have some action in it, especially the second one, but also something that has like, like the storytelling going for like, uh, like a full production of like, oh, voice acting and like all these fully fleshed out characters and, and almost like a, a kind of like Game of Thronesy kind of like vibe to it uma vibe know, de game of thrones with, with like the narrative and whatever um also oh, louco 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 parou 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 isso aqui eu não sabia que o jogo fazia eita mano ó eu já vi do combate já vi muito do do mundo do muito do que eles mostraram né do mundo do game mas assassinato furtivo Mano, que jogo maravilhoso, só melhora, cara. Olha aqui, ó. Kind of like... Olha, ele tá chegando I na Mocó. Tem um cara aqui, ó, vocês estão vendo aí? É que tá de noite, né? Então tá bem escuro, mas olha aí. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Olha, ele tá chegando na Mocó. Aparece um ponto de final... Mano, é Souls. Olha o Sekiro aqui, ó. Aparece o um ponto vermelho no peito do cara pra finalização. Você vai lá e... Pô! Um, agarrou. Also... E matou, velho. Que delícia, que delícia. Gostei. Gostei demais. Isso eu não sabia que tinha. Vou até ver de novo. Kind of like vibe to it, you know, it, yes. with with like the narrative and whatever. Um, also, games going into early access. Uh, they're doing an early access launch for this game. Uh, first time they've ever done that. So this is a game that'll be launching uh, with like a good amount of content, but will grow over time as uh, you know. Um detalhe, tá, galera? Uh, o jogo dele tá mais, a, a, o vídeo dele está mais escuro que o normal, viu? Porque no vídeo de ontem isso aqui tava bem mais claro esse HUD aqui. Players give their input and, and espero que whatnot. esteja dando para vocês yeah, ver. I've, uh, I'm a big fan of the Ori games. They're two of my favorite Metroidvanias ever. Um, uh -huh. and I've been so excited to see that studio tackle something new just to see what else they were capable of and I from what I played of this game because I you know I played a lot of this section too. Um, I've been impressed as a fan of action RPGs like I, I enjoy Diablo, I enjoy uh, from software games. They're they're kind of nailing it so far. Like it's a it's a neat blend. Like I think the combat feels pretty good. Uh, it's got that weighty kind of deliberate feel that you would expect, but it's also very um, kind of like like performance and like combo focus where like you have all these different uh, timing based combos and inputs like in a timing. game. And what's also really unique about the game is that it doesn't have any traditional classes. So like instead, you know, you create a custom character and every weapon you pick up pretty much gives you like a very specific fighting style. Tá. Então beleza, isso aqui era uma dúvida que eu tinha e que esse cara tá respondendo agora pra gente. Se vocês Uh, viram o vídeo de ontem, né? Ontem nós, vi nós vimos um cara usando um bastão e soltando magia no bastão e tal. E eu até comentei com vocês, eu falei, mano, a gente tem mago e tal. Não é classes de personagem, galera. Não é classes, mas sim classes... É, não é... É, eu acho que é isso. Não é classes de personagem, mas sim classes de armas que vão determinar o estilo do seu gameplay. Então eu posso estar muito bem jogando com uma arma pesada de duas mãos, ao mesmo tempo ali trocar para adagas e ser muito rápido e tal, mudar para bastão e agir como se fosse um mago. Cara, eu adorei isso! Então não é a classe, você não fica preso a uma única classe, tá ligado? Você tem armas no mundo que vão mudar o estilo de jogo do jogador. Sensacional. Adorei isso. Also, if you use like a, a mace, 
you you have like a heavier style where like you swing heavier, Allah. your dodge roll is different. Allah. Whereas if he's cada arma muda completamente, até mesmo a o peso do personagem no estilo de 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 se esquivar, enfim, muda tudo. Daggers, you're like faster, Olha lá, and you have com a like daga a você fica muito like rápido, corre, so dá uma like, roladinha. Kind of like a more <risos> like loose way to do classes, and you can like build towards like, oh, I want to be like what you would consider a traditional barbarian, and you would just have to get the gear to sort of uh, facilitate that. But it gives you a chance to, and you can also switch weapons on the fly, so you can like switch between different fighting styles essentially with a button press. And I, I think that's kind and of changing uh, those weapons affects you immediately too, like. Uh, you'll, you can see it here, but like when I switch from my sword and shield to the dual daggers, I go from a heavy load to a normal load, um, yeah. which is pretty interesting mid combat to do because all of a sudden you're going from like the classic Dark Souls fat roll to like big uh, dodge rolls, um, which is look, yeah, man. I think probably one of my favorite parts is just being able to switch on the fly. Olá. I think another thing. Ai que legal. Ah, mano, isso aqui vai ser legal pro co-op, né? Vocês estão ligados que uma da, a, a primeira grande implementação que eles vão colocar no game é pós o teste né, que vai estar tá saindo dia 18 de abril para PC, por enquanto, o Early Access, é colocar o multiplayer. E aqui já tem as saudações, olha aí. <risos> Legal. Dois é apenas a apresentação. Os Ori games look fantastic, e eu acho que No Rest for the Wicked looks gorgeous. Like it's got a very kind of like oil painting kind of yes. look to it. Um, like, I don't even know if, like, <laughs> if YouTube compression or anything does will, will truly do the game justice, but, like, you know, playing it on, like, a big TV, you see, like, the, the brush strokes kind of, like, on the textures, and, it, you know, it's raining right now, and the way it sort of, like, runs down uh, the stone, like, the lighting looks really Cara, nice. Cara, isso é real, é maravilhoso like, a It is, like, moving through, like, a 3D painting, uh, which makes it really alluring, and also just the, uh, this is an interesting, maybe one more interesting things was just uh talking about like just the infusion of the two styles because like if you've noticed uh you know a lot of like games like diablo you're fighting like a gazillion enemies at once um mm -hmm. whereas this is a lot more intimate you know you're fighting like two three enemies at a time but like the enemies themselves are like really tough again drawing that that souls distinction you know right where like you need to be on your game and like you're de novo citando dark souls cara nossa, isso me anima tanto, sério. Isso aqui vai ser lindo. Switching a save point or, or checkpoint <laughs> there. Ah lá, ó. É yeah, o like, checkpoint um, mesmo, ó. They, it looks like Diablo, and it is an action RPG like Diablo, but they wanted to get away from, like, the, uh, like, button spamming of Diablo, which, you know, is great in its own right. And so what you have is, like, this isometric RPG that plays as if you're playing, like, a Dark Souls type game. Um, mm. and, it, and it works really well. I'm not sure. I'm sure there's other games that have done this. I'm not sure off the top of my head, but it, it feels new to me. Um, but it works really, really well. And like you said, yeah, you're not going to be fighting 10 enemies at once or like mobs. It's a one lot. to two enemies and any more than that, it gets really stressful really fast. Yeah. <laughs> que louco, I'm curious, like you mentioned, you haven't got to play it until now. Vocês viram aqui? Você não vai lutar contra uma horda de inimigos e ficar apertando o botão que nem doido, como é num Diablo, por exemplo, né? Aqui você vai enfrentar um, dois, três inimigos, talvez juntos no máximo, mas três inimigos que são extremamente cabreiros, que precisam ser estudados, que você não vai ficar apertando o botão à toa, né? Você vai precisar é, da parry, sair dando as roladinhas, esquivar, atacar no timing certo... Então, é literalmente, galera, é um Souls, né? É um, um Souls isométrico. E que nem ele falou, né? Ele comentou aí que não se lembra muito de outros jogos terem feito a mesma coisa. Eu também não lembro, não. Se tiver, vocês podem comentar, não tem problema nenhum. Mas eu não me lembro, assim, de outro jogo, assim, de cara, assim, de cabeça, é, ser um, um Souls-like, né? Isométrico, cara. Puta, isso aqui tá lindo demais, mano. Tá lindo demais. Vamos lá. How are you been feeling about it as someone that's uh, sort of finished this build? I'm I'm really really enjoying it. Like it's I think it's going to be the first early access game that I play and stick with. Um because outside of like work obligations and duties, I don't really play early access games because I'm kind of the person that's like, well, it's going to be 1.0 one day, why don't I just wait till then? Right. Um, and I and understand I'm the same some way. people 
Yeah, and some people like being like. Eu sei que vocês estão prestando atenção no que os caras estão falando, mas depois volta o vídeo e presta atenção na luta. Lembra que eu falei de um inimigo por vez e ah, o bagulho fica louco? Olha aqui, mano. Olha como que tá essa luta desse cara contra esse um contra um bonequinho. Tá osso. Can that guinea pig type of test chamber for a game, which is fine. And there's a lot of games that are great in early access. Um, but I usually it's just not my vibe usually. But I think it's be the first one that I like. Morreu. Morreu para um boneco, velho. Boneco aleatório do mapa. É, mano, isso aqui vai ser uma delícia. Like really get into. Um, I'm just I'm just really digging it. I'm a, I'm a sucker for this type of action. Like you mentioned, it's it's a gorgeous game. And again, it's uh, we're probably not even doing it justice here with YouTube compression and all that. It is so gorgeous. This is also a pre-early access build, so it's still um Ah, lá, o inimigo que ele enfrentou ali. Access build will be better. And I think it is like kind of pushing my PC to the limits uh because really? yeah, not uh I my my PC could probably use an upgrade at this point and I'm within the 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 uh like minimum recommended requirements or whatever. Um but yeah, I was like running into some like glitching or sound would drop out and stuff. I'm not sure if that's the build more so that it is just my actual PC. But like nonetheless, gorgeous game and it feels really nice and it's smooth. Um they've clearly prioritized like a 60 frames per second frame rate. Actually probably even higher if you're on a beefy PC because this early access is going to be PC only. Um Yeah. But yeah the game am, the game is coming I'm to hooked. consoles for those that are wondering like when it goes 1.0. Uh Yes. But yeah, PC only for now. Yeah, yeah, that... Tá, é, o que ele falou aqui, só reforçando, né? É, pra quem não tá ligado, eu já falei durante esse vídeo, mas caso tenha deixado passar, é, vai ter um Early Access. O jogo ele vai ser lançado oficialmente no dia 18 de abril, né? Dia 18 do mês que vem, só pra PC em Early Access. Depois disso, eles vão começar a deixar o game parrudo pra então sim fazer um lançamento nos consoles, tá bom, pessoal? Então... Vai ter jogo pra todo mundo, porém, o Early Access é no PC, pra feedback da galera. E sim, nós faremos parte disso sem dúvida. Eu estou enganado e eu praticamente tudo que ele está fazendo. Eu não tenho realmente nenhum problema. É apenas bom, o que não é surpreendente. É Moon Studios. Seus jogos, talvez mais do que os jogos out there, just feel tão so bem good. Sim. Yeah. Uh, you know, again, we won't get into like our, our cover story per se, just because we have some, um, I think there's some exclusive stuff that uh, we can't talk about just yet. But, you know, that'll be coming uh, next week, uh, March 5th. So at least for the digital issue and then, you know, physical a uh, couple weeks after that. So you have to wait terribly long to read, uh, read that. But yeah, just uh, picking uh, the co-founders of Moon's uh, brains about this game was was really fascinating because their love of like so many different genres was just like very clear like you know Thomas Mailer who was one of the co-founders you know he used to work at Blizzard so you mm -hmm. know he Diablo is a series particularly that is like near and dear to his heart like I, he probably referenced Diablo 1 and 2 like a hundred times things <laughs> during our discussions there about like how you know what he loves about it and what he wanted to see from the series that didn't happen that he he implemented into No Rest for the Wicked and also just like How the Olha o negócio que ele colocou na cabeça ali, mano. Que louco. Their, like, the expertise and, like, the, é aquele lance que você coloca na frente. Que eles tinham em mente por um tempo. E eles apenas, tipo, realmente tomaram seu tempo antes de decidir, tipo, hey, talvez podemos fazer isso. Talvez podemos fazer isso ser legal, RPG. E eu. Uma coisa que eu sempre. Espera aí. Just kind of like pause at, especially as you do more combat. I really like the animation. Like it's got like a yeah. exaggerated look that I really appreciate. Like the the, the Man, swings. Man, olha água, velho. Like yes, how you just yeah. throw your whole body. Yeah, like it's not going for like total realism, which I appreciate. Yeah, it's um. I wrote in. Uh, I have a written preview up on the site. Uh, that's also now live, and it's basically my words here, but put onto a page, uh, for you to read online. Um, yeah, it's kind of. It's like a. I, I wrote that it's like a, especially my character, it's like a gothic painting that's like started to melt almost. Like everything ah. is like caricaturized or like, uh, yeah, like it's it's just such a cool visual style. It's It looks realistic, but it's not, if that makes sense. You know, like this looks like it could be real, but then it's like clearly not. This is like a fantasy realm where things are a little messed up in the, uh, I don't know, it's like, it's, 
I guess it's kind of like the Ori games. Like those games are gorgeous and still whimsical and fantastical. This is like taking the whimsy out of the Ori games and and instead of whimsy, you're getting like medieval misery uh, with that classic <laughs> Moon Studios art style. Yeah, which if, if you're any sort of historian, I feel like medieval history is probably all misery <laughs> when you think yeah, about it. Yeah, just a bit. Yeah, yeah I like so. I think happiness is very relative in that wow. time. Um, I, I, you might have noticed that uh, Wes is, was like picking up like mushrooms and stuff like there's a whole crafting system with this game. Uh, you know, you're mm -hmm. going to be taking ingredients to certain vendors to uh, create uh, or improve items. Uh, you can cook at uh, campfires, Someone you can make uh, dishes that give like sort of beneficial stat bonuses. And I think the other thing we haven't touched on is the sort of um, randomization element of the game. Yes. Yeah. Good point. Well, yeah. Where uh, so the game, it, like it to sort of encourage replayability and, and like also just like unpredictability is that uh, loot and equipment is randomized, meaning that like when you first start the game and you find your first chest, like you might find like a sword. But if you were to replay the section again and open that chest, you might get like a mace. Olha isso, man. No vídeo de ontem nós comentamos sobre essa questão que os desenvolvedores falaram, né, que o jogo ele o cenário né, ele vai mudando de acordo com o seu gameplay, então você vai passar pelo mesmo lugar duas, três vezes e a cada vez que você passar aquilo vai estar diferente. Mas pelo que eles estão falando aqui, não é só isso. A imprevisibilidade <risos> acontece também em itens, cara. Você viu o que ele falou aqui? A gente vai começar o jogo lá, encontra um baú, vai. Nesse baú tem uma capa, beleza? Quando você jogar de novo e você abrir o mesmo baú, não vai ter uma capa, vai ter uma espada. Então, vídeos de coisas como local onde encontra a espada lendária. Talvez não role muito, não. Mas vamos ver. De qualquer forma, eu vou colocar aqui no canal. Mas eu acho que é, a ideia do jogo é o replay, né? E a aleatoriedade das coisas. Isso é muito legal. E eu dou muito valor. Ou você vai ganhar uma diferente arma. E... You know, that applies to basically everything in the gear. And, oh, wow. you know, the level design is the same way. But what's cool is that everything's handcrafted in the world. Like, there's no procedural generation used. But what they did was basically just handcraft everything multiple times. And then just mm -hmm. have, like, Kilo. a system that, like, doles it out. In, yeah, in like sort of, like, like cool a randomized random way. Speed. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so it's like everything is, like, no matter how much it changes, everything is still, like, purposely hand placed Nossa, which is like a really isso, cool man. idea because um, then you kind of yeah. get that like i guess like that sense of like human made craftsmanship no matter what um while also like keeping you on your toes and uh, like freshening up levels that you're probably going to be visiting repeatedly as you Olha, like, mano, que golpe farm louco. ingredients or, or maybe experience or maybe you just want to go kill something because it, it feels good to kill something you know <laughs> yeah it's nice because i don't typically like Like when I hear procedurally generated, it's almost like a turnoff for me. And I know teams do a lot to make procedurally generated worlds feel great and look great, but I don't know, like there's a big difference for me between hearing procedurally generated and uh, like handcrafted like this, um, even if it is random. Uh, it just feel, I don't know, I guess like the human touch is something I really appreciate in uh, games like this. Um, yeah. So, it I can say it adds that element of like knowing that like, oh yeah, they they put this here for a reason, you know. Yes. Whether or not yeah. I like the reason, that's up to me, but it's kind of like, I don't know, there's something to knowing oh, that a, a boss machine boss or algorithm algorithm that just randomly put something there. As we look at the uh, the first boss of the game, which if you're a Souls fan, you probably would consider this like... It's the first boss! I'm like, all right, let's yeah. see what you've learned up to this point. Tá dando uma yeah, this is no PC Warp dele, the Torn. Né? Um, Gave me a good good bit of struggle last night as I was uh, playing this. Um, Ai, very isso, cool man. boss. Very disgusting I'm, monster looking. Like a crab legs or whatever. Yeah. Kind of like, like rib, it, rib. it used to be a human, maybe? I assume. I, I, I believe so. I, yeah, I believe it was a human that was like transformed horribly by the, the pestilence. Like he just yeah. got a face full of pestilence, I guess. <laughs> um, poor, poor Warwick. I wonder who And you can see that like. like He's no joke. Like I'm hitting him a lot and his health bar is not going down and I'm not under leveled. Like I played ah, mais um lance do Souls, ó. Tamanho da barra de vida dele e o dano pequenininho que o cara causa, velho. A good bit of this game before getting to him. 
Um, they're just now, not now, messing around with bosses. Now, Wes, I, I'm not gonna humble brag, but you know, you were there for the cover trip. It took me only two tries to beat Warwick. It the did, first try, yeah. I almost had him. How many? You times did. did. How many tries did it take you? It took me three times. So uh, as okay. we I discussed before on New Gameplay Today, Marcus is our professional gamer here on staff. Um, <laughs> I witnessed it in real time. It was a sight to behold. I tried still my best to beat my... this dude in two times, but it just wasn't possible. Hey, three uh, still pretty good. Yeah, Olha, mano, o boss não dá, não dá tempo, um, mano. And it's, I think, uh, like the, it's one of those bosses where you have to learn its patterns and recognize it. So like beating it on the first try, good luck. I'm sure somebody will, I'm, certainly somebody will do it, but that's a tough challenge. You need to at least be able to see how he works. You need to realize that he does that. Esse lance da câmera aproximando e saindo assim, ó, eu acho demais, mano. Bosses like to do where they stop. Oh, the delay. Yeah, the delay that just kills you every time and it makes you want to throw your controller, but then you're like, ah, that was very good. Um, but yeah, so that, that's my first death. I can't remember if I cut out the second death or not. Um, I probably did, because we don't need to watch me die a bunch. But uh, who, what who I learned here, that? yeah, what I learned here with trying to beat him is uh, pairing is, is key to defeating him. A la, parry. Because uh, there is a parry system. A la. Yes. Um, which, so when you use a, any weapon, you can parry by pulling the right trigger, or left trigger, um, on the controller. Uh, but if you have, like, the dual daggers, for example, you can't block, because you don't have a sword. You're holding two swords in your hand. So all you have is that parry. Whereas with this current build, I have the sword and Ow. the shield. I can hold the left bumper to block, which decreases my stamina, but reduces damage. Or I can outright parry, which is like a shield bash. Uh, oh, Perry, I lost it right go. there. Yeah, that and then look at that. He sent Perry and yeah. stun the guy in the time. I'm sorry, I, I'm only... I don't know why I'm not, I didn't acknowledge this before or notice, but like, what's on, what is on your head? Is that like a plank? Like a board? I don't know. I, it, it gave me a good armor boost. I think it's one of those things you put like prisoners in for the town yeah. square. Yeah, is that like your helmet? Is that what yeah, that's, that's my that's my equipped helmet currently. Okay, yeah, I don't know why it was just I did only now dawned to me like, wait, what what is that? <laughs> yeah, my guy, my guy's going through it. This is not not a good place to be. Yeah. Um, wow, why is he done, man? You're doing pretty good. Oh, Barry, Barry here. This is getting kind of down. Man. Barry regassa, man. Barry. Yeah. Barry regassa. Let's do it again. Alá, yeah, de novo. Yeah, nice. Alá. I like the way he just like he he just maravilhoso bounces back his whole body just maravilhoso that parry. and oh, oh there you go yes the bom I there did you it go. You, the board yeah. you know, uma coisa que eles falaram sobre a aleatoriedade é real mano porque olha olha os itens que ele ganhou aqui ele ganhou uma espada uma comida um traje e um osso não sei se vocês se lembram, mas no último gameplay que nós trouxemos aqui no canal de alguém enfrentando esse boss, o cara tinha ganho duas espadas e mais um osso. Então, assim, muda mesmo. Caraca, velho. <risos> I did it. Did it. You the board But yeah, that is no rest for the wicked. This is just a taste of what's to come. Uh, like we've mentioned a few times, Marcus and I visited Moon Studios and he played a bunch of the game. We've got obviously the cover story and, and more stuff coming next week when our issue launches. So if you like this, uh, go read my written preview on the site right now and then keep gameinformer.com in your legal, mailbox. Legal, caras. Legal, 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 legal. No rest for the wicked. Uh, então, first time they've essa é a, a resenha dos caras, né? E cara, animal poder acompanhar isso, né? E trazer esse conteúdo para vocês. É, mediante a tudo que for saindo, né? Assistam bastante previews, tem um monte delas. Eu vou dar uma olhada em mais algumas para ver qual que eu trago aqui no canal para vocês. E vou procurar fazer um vídeo de tudo o que sabemos até o momento sobre o game. Mês que vem, dia 18, nós estaremos jogando aqui no canal. Valeu, pessoal. O que, que você acha? Hype? Para mim é total.